figure. It's Jeff with your report here at the Project Humvee Battle Wagon. And I, I gotta apologize, we have been really busy. And you can probably tell if you look in the back of the Battle Wagon. We, we've been shooting a lot of review videos today. So I actually didn't shoot a video for this. Uh, I'll give you a quick, quick peek at what we have here. This is the Honor Guard from Honor Defense. And we have the short slide and the long slide so we have it as a compact and as a full size uh, pretty neat that you can just swap the slide on that to change it but, uh, anyhow we, we got all kinds of firearms here that we've been reviewing and shooting videos on um, so you'll definitely want to go check those videos out and see what that's all about uh, it's kind of obscuring something we've done so what i want to do here is cover some of the uh, different projects that we've done on the battle wagon that I haven't had time to go document individually. Probably the biggest one is the lizard skin. This is the um, acoustic and heat coating. You can see it here. It actually, in this picture, kind of looks like, um, what do you call it, bed liner? But, but that's not what it is at all. So it is an acoustic coating, and you can see a little bit of overspray where I didn't tape it very well down there and didn't paint over it. And here is the kind of gray-black color that it is. Um, it goes on as it goes on as an acoustic coating. I put two coats of that on, and then also a, a ceramic coating that sprays on, just like bed liner. After that, and then we put uh, I can't remember three or four coats of paint on top of that, and it actually came out really well. It's holding up pretty well. Um, Unfortunately, you can't really see much of it in here. Um, here we go, metal wagon. So something I'm working on right now, you can see that light. We've got two of those in the back. I have lights installed, but haven't gotten to run the wiring yet. Uh, also, under this radio antenna mount is a hole that I'm going to put backup lights in. So this will be uh, spotlights. That, that give more light than if I put it in reverse. I'll have a couple of white lights in here, one on each side, that will come on whenever we put it in reverse. You can see we did the conversion uh, from the original two-door troop configuration to this four-door, uh, four-man configuration. And under here, you can go look up our review on how to do that conversion and install the rear seat belts as well. So, see from driving in the backyard I had that tip back we've got our off-road lights pointing out the side one on each side that's something that we did we added this little solar pulse panel uh, it's a desulfator it keeps the battery topped up and charged but the bigger deal is it conditions the battery with a desulfate cycle and it's all solar powered so I really like that shortly after we got the battle wagon and I mean like within 20 minutes of signing the paperwork, maybe within 10 minutes of getting it released from the storage lot from uh, Gov Planet, I had the bent brush guard off and a new one from Southern Metals Recycling down in Wilmington, North Carolina. Had that installed. That's the very first thing we did to put a cleaner one on. I have a Laverne brush guard that we're going to put on here shortly. I have to get it uh, cleaned up. It's it's actually sitting way out there on the other side of the gate, leaning up against a little brick fence. So i got to get that cleaned up so we can put that on. You can go check out the video on the headlight upgrade and the write-up we did on that as well. Thrilled with those LED headlights. Uh, really pleased with how that works out. And we've also got a write-up on the control cable for the mile marker hydraulic winch. Uh, I bought the black cable and uh, it didn't work, so I had to do the um, wiring modification to make that work. You see there's our light. Uh, it got bumped out of the way coming through the gate. That gate over there is not that big uh, to get in the backyard. We're shooting back here all the review videos. I had that, that canopy over the back uh, earlier in the day when the sun was coming through because it was throwing weird shadows. So. Uh, for filming, uh, Jose Juan and I shot a lot of review videos back here today. Uh, so another upgrade that people love to do on the Humvee for very good reason is X doors, hard doors. These are 
uh, surplus doors that I got from Southern Metals Recycling. And the front doors, uh, you pull the, pull the old soft doors off, drop these in, and install new strikers. And that's all you had to do. Uh, the back doors, you also have to get these hinges as well as installing the strikers in the back. But uh, that's about it there. We're getting a little low on light, so you can get a little bit better light in here, not too much. You can see the little switch box down here. What? Let's see if I can get a little better lighting in here. Let me take this uh, stream light. Here we go, so you can see that a little bit better. That is a little electrical box that I picked up at uh, a home improvement store and installed these switches in it. It has a fused distribution box behind it, so I'm coming out of the battery box over and around on the back side and up into here to feed that distribution box and then coming off onto four switches and then another output goes here to this 12 volt socket. And I believe that means I have one left that I have to figure out what I want to do with. But um, this light switch goes up to a set of rope lights. They're up here on that uh, center bow for the soft top. And uh, this one, let me flip that. You see, there's our light on the side. The next one over is the light going the other direction. You see when that comes on this switch i don't have it wired to anything yet that is likely going to be the two lights in the back that we talked about um yeah i don't know we may move some of the lights around because i need to put another set of these lights on the front as well I'm not sure where i'm going to put them or where they're going to be wired in but that'll happen at some point so nothing really exciting here on the dash all of that's pretty standard uh, we've got a holster here. Um, I'll have to put in the description who makes that. That's just Velcroed on and it holds the Glock 19 and all that weight. Um, I'm not incredibly um, confident that, that that's strong enough Velcroed the way it is, but for now that's what's in there. I cleaned, I took these out and uh, the, the floor mats and pressure washed them. They're getting a little dirty again, but you can see up here it looks pretty good. After pressure washing, and you can see where the lizard skin and then paint was put on under there as well. One of the things we did, you can find our uh, Help My Humvee Won't Start article that talks about the start system. And you see there's a smart start, an S3 box up there. That's not what was in it when we got it. So that was an upgrade. Here in the center, we got some really neat things happening here. So first, this is uh, from Ram Mounts. We have, this is a little clamp mount. If you can see what's holding that on, the clamp up against the radio tray back there. Oh, it took it out of focus, come on. And then this is a, like a little gimbal mounted uh, drink holder here, okay. Uh, that one, Ram mounts, that's a cell phone mount that is screwed to the radio tray. What we're using on the radio tray, this has actually worked better than I expected. This little tray, I can put a link to this tray. It's a Rubbermaid that I got off of Amazon. And for right now, it's not even bolted down. It's just sitting there. This kind of holds it in place, but it's got little rubber pads that hold it as well. Um, it's kind of neat. Ram mounts sent uh, this little LED that I can plug in here. There we go. And then it's got a button. There we go. So like a little map light or something, if I do the light, that's kind of neat. We've still got more stuff from Ram Mounts to install that I haven't gotten to yet. Um, here is a backup camera monitor. So you may have seen our video on how to install the rear view mirror. And I actually glued it right here to the windshield and when I was trying to put this monitor on it, it broke off. So I figured out a new way to screw the little button up into the header 
for the windshield and hang the rear view mirror up there. Then I've got this monitor attached to it. You see it's not connected yet. I haven't uh, finished the wiring for that. The camera's already installed in back, but just not wired in yet. Still got to work on that. Over here you see another one of those uh, RAM mounts, uh, cell phone or tablet holders, and it's on the center pillar. There were already some holes there, so I went ahead and mounted that. Uh, what else do we have here? You see the... Um, uh, sorry, some paperwork from the reviews we're working on today and my laptop power cable. You can see I put a um, two-man divider back there and uh, I'll show you from the other side how it's mounted. It's a little different than the way most people do it because I didn't feel like spending you know 50 or 100 bucks for the um, military mounting bracket so I used some angle aluminum and figured it out myself. We have the Oregon Arrow driver and passenger seats cushions and then the military high back seats in the back so those are nice upgrades i'm pretty happy with here in the center console underneath we have a radio that midland was kind enough to send this is uh what do they call it? the m115 or mx115 something like that I'll, I'll put a link so you can see exactly what that is. It's pretty neat because it's a GMRS radio and you, maybe you could hear stands at So that's a NOAA weather radio that runs it. It also does the GMRS channels and there's a little USB charger port there so you could plug a phone into it if you wanted to charge it. Um, and here's the um, microphone for that hooked on this double level level radio tray I, I like that we've got a couple we, we've got a single level we've got the big uh, uh, dagger mount uh, for a computer and radio system the monster center console but this double level seems to work well for me probably one of the more interesting things we've done is taken a four place aviation intercom you see here this is a soft comm unit and it's velcroed in place so i can do that and lift it up and you can see we can plug there are two heads there are all four headsets are plugged in just for the headphones and then whoever's using it so like if i'm driving and want to talk to someone then i'll plug my microphone in and that's just because for now it's running on battery power uh, as in a little nine volt battery and I don't want the batteries to go dead, so I just unplug the microphones in each of the headsets when we're not using them. Uh, but that really, that intercom lets us talk um, using these headsets. These are general aviation headsets, and uh, you, know, you can go look at the article on you know, $100 intercom system for a Humvee, and it'll tell you how you, know, you can get a use like go on ebay i'll put a link to ebay where you can get this aviation intercom and then some headsets uh, i've got 120 dollars in this setup uh, far less in the two-man setup using a sigtronics intercom uh, and that's pictured in that article as well so the driver's headset sits here passengers there and you see oops i've got a david clark headset on the back of the seat there and another telex clamped in place here so all four seats have a headset to use with the intercom so those are let me see are there any other things in here to talk about you know we got a couple of these handheld radios midland when they sent the gmrs base station radio they also sent a couple of these handhelds so we'll use those when when we got the team together out at the shooting range or, or doing anything like that where we may split up uh, we've got the little rifle clamps here just to hold the barrel we've got an article on that if it's interesting to you and uh, i wish i could show you the black rack that's supposed to sit here but it's still on my list of projects figuring out exactly where to put it um, it's going to eventually hold four rifles and i think i'm going to put it right here in the center so those will be vertically mounted four rifles or pistols whatever we want um, very very secure so that that's it project humvee battle wagon you can see a variety of the different upgrades we've done um, and I promised I was going to show how, oh, check that out. That is a Wyndham weaponry. 
They call it the MCS, the multi-caliber system, and this shoots uh, 223 and 9 millimeter and 762 by 39 and 300 blackout. On the same lower receiver, you just swap in different barrels and mag wells and magazines, that kind of stuff. So, pretty cool. But uh, behind that down here, we can see... Uh, nope, I'm going to have to show you that later. That's that's how that uh, um, two-man divider, or four-man divider, rather, is installed. And I just can't get to it uh, with all the guns that are back there. So, starting to get dark. I am going to go ahead and pack all this stuff up. If you have any questions or comments about anything you see in the video, or uh, you know something we've posted about that I didn't talk about, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, let me show you. Down here, move the rifles out of the way. There we go. There you can see the backup camera, and you see that is uh, something we can tip up and down a little bit. Uh, to get the right angle on it. And I went with uh, putting that one right here in the middle above the pencil. So it keeps it centered and that's gonna help you know, when I'm backing up to hook the trailer up because we got that uh, M1102 trailer sitting over here that I like to pull occasionally. And uh, you know, I can't see to get it lined up by myself very well, so that's going to help. Just got to run the wires for that. So when I run the wires for these uh, uh, backup lights, excuse me, not backup, but the rear off-road lights, I'll run, I'll pull wires for the uh, backup camera as well. But that's about it. Let me know what questions you have, what kind of reviews you'd like to see, um, what other cool stuff is interesting to you. If you have questions about the, the JP Enterprises LRP 07, let me know. We could talk about any of this stuff. So again, Jeff with Gear Report and the Project Comfy Battle Wagon.